As father of the bride, I've been kind of thinking about what I was going to say, and uh, it's been a while, seven years since I had to do this for Kelly, and I'm, uh, I'm thinking of what advice I'd give her, and what can I say about Molly? She's um, beautiful, beautiful woman, uh, and she looks great in that wedding dress, man, oh, that's super. <laughs> but I can't help but reflect on the girl she was and the woman she's turned into be. As the youngest and smallest, as Kelly mentioned, of the four children we have, she learned very early to hold her own. She definitely is a tough, strong-willed, and fearless woman. Uh, as a child, she loved to climb on everything, and whenever Pan or I would lose track of her, which happened quite often, actually, she never sits still, uh, all we had to do was look to the highest point in the room and there we'd find her. At an early age, uh, Molly found her passion in dance. The discipline, perseverance, and teamwork uh, skills that she developed during those dance years have a lot to do, I feel, with the woman she is today. She's beautiful, intelligent, determined, and still fearless today. In her mid-twenties, Molly left her friends and her family and moved to New York City on her own uh, to pursue her public relations career. She found success in her career there, but something was still missing, so she came back home. And like a true millennial, she has used technology to find love. <laughs> and I'll just leave it at that because I'm not sure what the app was or how they, you know, I don't know all that stuff. <laughs> what was it? Okay. Bumble. Okay. Whatever that is. So, <laughs> uh, as Molly's dad, I was probably the last to know that she actually was dating someone and it was getting sort of serious. But um, we would have family dinners for holidays or birthdays or something and she finally invited Melroy to one of those dinners about a year ago. And uh, Pan and I got to meet the man who was the love of her life. And she'd only told me that he was an electrical engineer and he worked in the tech industry. Well, I had an image of what that meant. And I was very surprised to see that he was very personable. And I really enjoyed his company a lot. Unlike the very introverted and shy electrical engineers that I knew. Um, so anyhow, I could see that uh, that Molly looked very happy when Mel Rory was around. So I knew it would take a man with a certain set of characteristics of compassion and confidence. And I think in her case, uh, in your case, patience. So you'll need a little of that. Um, to earn her love, and you've done that. <laughs> I'm still doing that too. Uh, but she met that man in Melroy, Melroy Machado. So Molly and Melroy, be true to each other always, share your joys and your burdens, uh, always speak well of one another, even in private, and when things don't go well, which happen from time to time, don't be afraid or too stubborn, Molly, to say I'm sorry. <laughs> Married life is an adventure, and today you embark on that journey together. Even though you are individuals, your covenant today makes the couple more important than each of either of you separately. Toast to my daughter Molly, she was a gift from God, and I will always be grateful to have been given the honor of being your dad. May God continue to bless her and her new husband, Melroy, and grant them safety, love, and happiness all the days of their life. Here you go. Cheers. Everyone knows the classic saying that, you know, you don't marry an individual, you marry into the family. And now that we come from different cultures, there's so much to learn and experience, and it's only been an amazing journey so far. 
I'm happy that Medra has found someone to match his energy and wavelength and keep him, you know, balanced. So thank you for going above and beyond for the family. And I look forward to seeing a life uh, you two build together. And I wish nothing but a lifetime of happiness and beautiful memories. Molly, when I was in kindergarten, I brought you in for show and tell. I was proud of you then, and I'm still proud of you now. And I know I probably don't tell you often enough. Melroy, I'm so happy you and Molly found each other. I have seen how you compliment one, each other, one another, and you have the ability to calm her down and build her up. And it's been incredible to watch the two of you grow in your love for each other. You already know this, but you married a very strong, confident, and caring woman. She is loyal and will love you fiercely with all of her heart. Thank you for being her partner in life. Welcome to the family. Molly is just a chill that Melroy doesn't know he really needs. <laughs> I really wanted to say that because he does need that. <laughs> Although it might appear Melroy talks a lot, walks so fast, uh, just wants to keep going on and on, but he's a really great friend. I remember this time during grad school, it wasn't a remember time, it's like always. He'd call your buddies up and he'd always ask how you're doing, ask all these questions and make sure you're doing good. He's always really great at finding solutions to any problems. He just gets to the point and tries to help you out. He's a really great listener, like, although it may not seem that way, because, like I said, he talks and walks so fast. But he's a really great friend. I just wish I could be as good a friend as he is to me. We have been there for each other, for all the ups and downs life has to offer. And we are very happy to you, Melroy and Molly, for taking this next step. Aldrich, I can see what's happening. What? They don't have a clue. Who? They'll fall in love, and here's the bottom line. Our a trio down, down to two. two. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to be hard. Can, Can you feel the, the love tonight? Let's all raise our glasses and toast the newlyweds. Yeah. Let's have a round of applause, Thanks, Molly and Melroy.